Celtic Park with 49,000 people opting to miss out on the Christmas shopping in favour of the football. And if there were Celtic supporters, they made the right choice. A five-star performance, this one by Bim Janssen's side. And they took the lead after Paul Lambert's through ball. Picked up by McNamara, cut back for Burley. And after 23 minutes, the fans are delighted. So is Burley. And he got a yellow card for his excitement. The Celtic one up and a good passing move. Burley charging past his man and slotting it past Chris Reid. Pat McGinley was hoping to impress against his old side. That was not a bad effort, but Gould furious with the defending. Reggie Blinker's corner led to number two. A powerful header there by Morten Weghorst. The Danish midfielder scores so many goals on the deck, but he used his height well that time. So Hibbs down in the first half and out in the second. Henrik Larsson set up Celtic's third goal and Jackie McNamara scored it. His first goal of the season against his father's side. He got the break of the ball that time. And before Hughes could get to him, he fired it past Reid. Hibbs on the attack now with on form Andy Dow working a nice one too there with Andy Walker. And they made Jonathan Gould work for his money that time. And Hibbs' attack led to Celtic's fourth goal. Great tackle there by Anoni on Pat McGinley. The ball breaks up field. Larson gets past Hughes and Reid and walks the ball into an empty net. An absolute nightmare for the defence though. John Hughes and Chris Reid right off the boil there. And Larson couldn't have had it any easier. The Celtic supporters got a second chance to see their early Christmas presents from Rosenberg striker Harold Bradback. He came off the bench, but it was off target with that effort. Hibbs had one final attempt to try and make the scoreline look more acceptable. Kenny Miller almost breaking their duck with that. The teenager unlucky that time. Celtic tied up the 5-0 route with a spectacular strike from Craig Burley. A 25-yarder in the final minute of the match. Burying Hibs, 5-0 Celtic. They go second top over Hearts and another shutout for Jonathan Gould. I wouldn't write Hearts off yet, but almost it's becoming a two-horse race. If, if we keep winning ours and Rangers keep winning theirs, then I, you know, I think it will come down to the old firm games. I think we controlled the game and we've come to expect that now. Teams sit back, so we knew they were going to do that. They made the first game of the season very difficult for us, but as I said before, we're a completely different outfit now to what we were then. Uh, and we get used to now teams sitting back. Hibbs done that. We broke them down eventually, and I thought the boys were magnificent in the end. It's nice to keep clean, sh clean sheets, but it, it does add a little bit of pressure along the way. You know, you're expected to, to keep duck eggs, as um, uh, Murdo said. But <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, nice to see you had a good game, eh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>